Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, War of the Chosen, Long War of the Chosen 2. My name is Saiken and today we're going to t uh, start month number 3 of this campaign. Month number 1 and 2 had been incredibly successful, um, despite all of the penalties on Legendary Iron Man. Uh, we managed to acquire 3 scientists, 3 um, uh, engineers, we could build three buildings, had a nice uh, roster upgrade, uh, could recruit quite a few soldiers and are on our way to essentially uh, liberate the first region. We also researched uh, laser and advanced laser technique, uh, which, yeah, uh, just is an overall success. I really like where the campaign currently is. So let's keep the momentum. Um, today we're going to look at Operation Spider Seed, which is uh, yet again getting more resistance personal. I think we can only gain one, but apparently there are four available, so might as well do it. We got a gigantic uh, SWAT uh, with us because we found the mission early, so we can already launch it with 100%. Let's go. Here we go. Time for a jailbreak. We got four, at least four targets. One, two, three, four. And we got to run all over the map. Well, this is going to be fun. But you know what? We got um, we got Dragonova with us. And I haven't played with the Reaper yet on Long War, so I'm actually looking very much forward uh, uh, for that. Let's say, see how they have implemented her. I know they uh, they nerfed her uh, her stealth range. Move, move, move. Good. We're going to take. A bit of a detour over the rooftop here On the move. and then basically all the way over to here gosh this map is gigantic if we can I would suggest we're simply going to uh, stay in concealment. We only fight against an absolute basis squad, so uh, basis, uh, mm, an absolute basic baseline. Oh, that was difficult. Absolute basic baseline of seven to nine enemies. So, with such a large map, it's very unlikely that we're going to run into more than one squad at a time. And I, by the way, decided it's probably more efficient to simply just walk down here. A little bit of scouting. Position confirmed. Yeah, we haven't even found an enemy so far. I am honestly not surprised about that. Good. Everyone... Oh wait, let's shortly see what the heck uh, is about. So we could get a small supply ca uh, cache. Certainly don't want to do it uh, now, but maybe we find one on our way to the extraction zone. Good. Moving everyone up and simply staying out of line of sight. We got plenty of turns, but the distance is also very, very high. So I am assuming that we need at least five or six turns to actually move everyone. 
uh, to the extraction zone. What a shitty map layout. Huge map and then the random the random roll to check where uh, where the extraction point is has determined that it's on the complete other side. So it's on this rooftop here, by the way. And look at that, wow. Still nothing. Yeah. Copy that. Running. Solid copy. Okay, we're moving in. The only one who has a little bit of a problem catching up is our specialist. Let's do this. As for our sniper, I'm inclined to put her here so that we can easily move her over. Or him. Him. Dragonova, here's another movement of enemies, but we're yet not seeing some. Pretty sure she can, could stealth the entire mission. Okay, Dragonova moves up. Finally, we're seeing the first pack. And it is super far away. Plus there is a drone up there. I'm on the move. An alien scouting party. And another peg. Okay. Kind of as expected, uh, we're at least having a we're at least having a pack in here. Those guys are maybe going to come over. Not sure. This drone might spot us out. Also, not hundred percent sure about that. Everyone has to take a somewhat safe cover position. Got it covered. And I simply want to make sure that we're not being spotted out. Overwatch. It's just a pack of two. Okay, as you can see, it's, a, it's now very good time to use ghost walker the trap is set and the claymore plus this here should not trigger anyone the guy essentially is probably just standing there no he's not But he also doesn't know where 
uh, where the attack was coming from. I think it's a good um, time to start killing. First pack is already eradicated. Okay, so let us make sure that we can actually kill the zombie first. Getting over another shot. Good. So much for unholy loyalty, which, by the way, was the dark event which we just received. Moving to here. That's affirmative. Taking the loot. Overwatching. Another Overwatch and another Overwatch. If the sector stays where it is, we can kill it next turn. Decided to stay where it is. Um, I am surprised. I thought that we could kill it. Good, let's move in and essentially trigger the sector. I don't know why the sniper was not able to see him. He was uh, last round, but did not have the uh, did not have the sniper sh uh, shot ready. Anyways, moving up. This is probably not going to destroy any cover, but maybe. Nah, not quite. Try again. Much better. Minimum damage, baby. So. 
Moving over into a flanking position and let's take a shot plus kill him. We are overwatching. Covering now. Taking the loot and overwatching. I think we're fine. We killed like what? One drone plus three. That's four plus two. That's six. Um, probably one more pack to go. It's, it's so funny because we already get all of the rebels and we're full. So let's try for the uh, for the superior PCS. I would have normally used uh, the rebel, but we're already like at maximum capacity. Yeah, there is probably one more pack, maybe back here. You never know. I wish if you would get additional uh, rebels, so more than your uh, than your region can handle, that they would be handed over to the other regions. But that's probably not a thing. That's why you might be able to fill your regions too fast. I don't know. It would make sense because now that we're rescuing four of these guys, it feels amazing, but in reality only one of them uh, is going to join us, the other three are doing something else. Thanks to the gaping hole in the wall, it's a pretty straight uh, escape process. My life is in your hands. No one will cross. Yeah, we can already start moving back as well. Got it covered. Come get some. On overwatch. Affirmative covering now. I would think it's unlikely that the last pack is just going to join us. Not entirely impossible, but unlikely. If they are showing up, we're probably going to wipe the floor with them. But since the map is so large, like I said, it probably takes them ages to even get to our position. By the way, worst rooftop to climb onto. Gotta go all the way back here. Might as well take that route.
Okay, let's get everyone to the evic zone. I think we're done here. Yeah, one short fight and the entire mission was already over. <laughs> Advent. The Reaper did quite well, by the way. The Claymore is extremely strong now, specifically in the early game. Uh, the camera focuses on her, which means the alien pack is somewhere behind us, but that's fine. Reinforcements incoming. Let's first of all get all of these guys out of here. Okay, so we're moving up and let's take an overwatch trap somewhere back here. Doesn't matter that we uh, lose our concealment. Actually would want to fight with her now. Overwatch. We're doing a pistol overwatch. Yeah, next turn everyone moves out. I'm on it. Overwatch. Overwatch. Moving to Overwatch. There we go. Reinforcements. And we're looking at two advents. Yay. Two troopers. You know, with the laser weapons that early, it's the first time in legendary difficulty, for once, that I could surely uh, one-shot a normal enemy. Which is hilarious if you think about it, because normally that just doesn't happen. Okay, everyone can now finally leave. Here we go. Let's get out of here. On the move. Head down. One extra experience for killing this guy. And off we go. I'm going. Status confirmed. We've secured a civilian contact. So we got all four of them.
unfortunately that's probably not going to help us really All right, moving up. Let's speed this up here a little bit. Moving up. Moving up. Moving up. And moving up. Good. Everyone's gone. I think that was a flawless mission. Yep. Considered flawless. And there was only one more pack left over. Unfortunately, due to the size of the map, I could be arsed to, uh, to scout out the entirety of the remaining map just to find the pack. And here we go. Four promotions, that's actually pretty good. Let's get Walkfire. Outrider gets a promotion right away. I like it. Oh no, she already got her promotion, so she's effectively not promoted again. We're going to get her skills soon, very soon. Okay, we got a lot of VIPs, but I think none of them they are all resistance forces. We should check with resistance HQ for new recruits. Yeah. No one here is um no one here was from from the pack of four that we just um, that we just rescued. Anyways, one of the things that we could do is we could reconsider the supply rate. Uh, one hour is too close, so. Gotta, we gotta do it uh, the conventional way. I was about to send in a 0% infiltrated version of it, but that doesn't work out. Uh, one hour is just too close. Uh, you can't abort and then immediately restart. So, yeah, we, we just gotta deal with whatever we have and try to kill, like what, 22 enemies? No problem whatsoever. Um, yeah, if you like what you've seen, this was a pretty easy mission, and the next one is probably going to be a bit more difficult, uh, then consider leaving a like um, or a comment down below. Take care and have a great day. Bye-bye.